So I say this all the time. Every time you attend a film festival, it's always that one film that makes you question, how are you here? <laughs> You're such a complete film that you don't need to be here. And that's what I stumbled upon with this film, The Execution. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film The Execution which made its world premiere this year at Fantastic Fest 2021. So to my points that I made in the opening of this video is that sometimes there are films at, you know at film festivals that you look at them you're just like it doesn't feel like an independent film. It doesn't feel like a low budget film. It doesn't feel like a film that's lobbying to get distribution. And it happens at least one film, every film festival. And this is one, this is definitely one This of, of all the films I checked out this year. This is definitely one of them because it felt just like a complete film that is ready to be on the bit screen that has major distribution and so on. From top to bottom, I enjoyed this film. Uh, one, because I love me a good mystery, a murder mystery. Um, I, I love me a good horror film. And I feel like it, it really tackled all of those genres really effectively, especially the murder mystery part, because this film keeps you guessing the entire time. And while this film runtime is a little bit longer than I, I'm usually, I'll say, happy with, I wasn't mad at it at all, because for the entirety of the film, I just kept trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together now let me talk about the few things that i didn't like about this film now most of the time i first of all let me be very clear i never have a problem with films when it comes down to it not being a film spoken in english i will watch a uh a international film any given day of the week if you follow this channel that you know that but this film i had trouble keeping up with the captions i just I, I did and i feel like because the vast amount of information going on between the dialogue and then you're trying to kind of fill out the scenes and uh because the murder mystery element and because which i'll come to in a second there's a lot of things that are really making you think and really trying to um you, you you're also trying to be really observe observative of everything that's happening the captions was a little hard for me to keep up with and I try and I try and I try to really try to get into an uncomfortable state but I never really did. I found myself having to rewind this film uh, more times than I would have liked just to make sure I didn't miss anything within the dialogue. That was my biggest gripe with this film It's just the dialogue, um, I mean the the um, the captions of this film just made it a little challenging for me but hey that's just me. You know, I, I, I don't think it takes away from the film at all, but that's just me personally that I had a really hard time with the captions here with this film. But <laughs> of the things I like, and, and, the, and then the other thing obviously is that the runtime was a little bit longer than I usually am. I, you know, I'm, a, I'm more of a hour 30, hour 40. This was, was two hours something, I think. I can't remember, but it was, it was much longer than I would have liked. But it's not to say that it wasn't filled with nonstop, like, action and the performances like let, let me get into the things i like the performances were fantastic even characters that weren't even main characters like there were scenes where you were like seeing people in passing that you just felt the intensity from from them and you like you just automatically was kind of like shocked wild or even scared depending on what the characters were um Every character really grabbed your attention, really grabbed the scene. There's so many intense scenes going on here. Which brings me to my second thing is that the sound mixing was fantastic because you had characters who talk really subtle, very proper, very elegant. And then you had characters who were very irate, loud, projecting, and it just meshed together so good. Really, really good. So performances up and down the board really good the plot let's talk about this now so you have um isa who just been promoted um to police chief so he's the big dog now right but he gets a call 
that reveals that a serial killer case that he thought he had closed, which ultimately made his career, which ultimately, you know, helped him in getting his promotion, may not be closed. So, you know, there's a lot to really unfold here because you have somebody who's declarated, respected, and when it comes down to the fact that he solved a major serial killer case, you know, it's that notoriety that you're always expected to be the person to get the job done. There's a sense of ego to that. So you have him now having to retract his his, his steps in the case to solve that plus some current things that are going on here. So it's really a battle of solving the case, solving what's currently happening, and putting your ego to the side because with his ego, he'll do anything to make sure that he doesn't lose everything that he's earned or given or whatever you want it to be. And that's the really interesting thing about this film is that you're just constantly guessing the motives of the characters left and right. And why you say they're police officers, just like, of course, they just wanted to solve the, the case. There are countless women being murdered and their bodies are just being left. It is the one of the most notorious uh, uh, serial killers of their time. And while you think that's just motive enough, people also have personal motives. And you see some really crazy things happen in this film. You see a serial killer interview another serial killer, which I don't know if I've ever seen or heard of that in my life. Which was a very intense scene. I had no clue what was going to happen next with that. But with that too, you're also jumping between timelines. So you're shifting points. And between that, it also adds another layer of guessing. Because you really are seeing what, you, what you'll say. The current and then the past. And you're just trying to make the sense of how did you get to that point? Which, you know, what ultimately tipped you to go this route? I don't know if I can trust you based on the things I'm seeing in the future. Like, all of that, you know, it's so intense. It's so good. This is literally one of my favorite films, this film festival. It was put together fantastically. The performances, the cinematography, I mean, the production itself. None of this felt like an independent film or anything of any lesser budget. It felt, it feels like it's ready to go on the big screen right now. So this is a film, the execution, keep an eye out for. I do not know who's uh, who's going to be distributing this film, but you want to keep an eye out for it because I love this film. It's, it's totally a film that I came in for you all to check out and then let me know your thoughts about everything that's going on here. And while I say, I, I must say, there is one flaw in the plot that I guess I couldn't get with, but it's not a big deal. But there are a couple of things with the plot that I really was invested into because I watch a lot of murder mystery and I felt like the psychology of a character was so on par, of, of a couple of characters, to be honest, especially the, 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 the serial killers or the suspects, should we say. There's a lot of good, like the profiling of them done very good, which you can tell that they've done their research to make sure these characters feel very authentic and by all means they the way how some of this stuff played out really good and then the ending <laughs> the ending man is really shocking to be honest i really don't know what to think of it but that's that but folks get ready be on the lookout for this film love this film can't wait for you all to check it out uh so jump in the comments once you do and then as always folks stay tuned for more movie reviews very soon